Welcome back, everybody, to the Navigant Credit Union Broadcast Center. It is Business Monday. I want to thank our friends at Deepwater Wind for uh, helping us out on this. Uh, just on was Will Morgan, really one of the preeminent architectural writers, critics in America, uh, with some great insights into all the different projects that are now being built around Providence. Uh, took a little chat on the uh, Fane Tower, which uh, let's put it <laughs> Put it clearly, he is not a big fan of. Matt Hassett is here. Um, Matt and I uh, have a long history. We worked on one of the craziest projects of all time down in the Dominican Republic. That's for a different show. Today he's <laughs> on talking about a, a really interesting startup initiative for millennials in Rhode Island. Give us a little overview. Yeah, so um, I guess the first thing I can say is I'm the old man in the group. Uh, I was looking at a breakdown of what a millennial is, and I think I make the cutoff by like a, 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 few, a few days. Yeah, <laughs> good for you. But um, yeah, so this group is uh, of a bunch of you know talented, very smart uh, young people, young professionals that uh, we're really looking for a way to connect with each other across Rhode Island and and also have a platform. Right. And so you know it's really built on the foundation of social media, but also we have goals in mind that we want to kind of give back in the sense that we're, we're connecting with nonprofits. We're also trying to, to do what we can with business development. And, and the, the thing that hit home for me uh, in particular was I spent 10 years in New York City. Um, and you, know, you go out, you do networking in New York, and you can't walk into a bar without meeting you know, 100 different 30-somethings that are you know, successful professionals right. with like, you know, an, an ambitious mindset. And you want to find that in Rhode Island, but it's you know, a little harder to find. So a little harder than in Manhattan? <laughs> yeah, I would say. So, so that was kind of our goal. Is, <laughs> if we know, had that, we'd be Manhattan. <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> no, it's, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, young energy that's starting to emerge. And especially as people get more developed, talk about some of the ways you're bringing folks together. And I know you're trying to channel it for the best of the community. Talk a little bit about those those initiatives as well. Sure. So, um, you know, our website we have. Uh, what, what's the URL? Uh, so it is uh, fountainheadri.org. Uh, so, the uh, yeah, on the website, I mean, you'll see the story of uh, the board members and you know where everything came from. Uh, Dave Almonte, it's really his brainchild, but. Uh, we have a nonprofit of the quarter, and uh, one of our board members, uh, Erica Basilla Adams, is, uh, I mean, like a pro in the, uh, the nonprofit world. Uh, she's, she must be on 15 different boards <laughs> and, uh, you know, is, is constantly giving us tutelage on, uh, you know, what it means to be on a board. Um, and then, you know, our, our goal is to, to drive content, obviously, through the website, but also uh, host events. Yep. So, you know, we, we do a mix of fun events, networking, um, along with some very topical events that are there more kind of panel discussions. Great. Um, we had one in particular that uh, on the top of my head is, uh, was at the um, Rhode Island Foundation, basically just trying to, to educate young people, if you want to get on a board, how do you do it? Right. And so we had um, you know, some uh, seasoned uh, nonprofit people uh, basically giving advice, you know, here's how you go about it. And. Um H how big's the group, and how's it uh, growing and emerging, and you know what's the momentum behind it? Yeah, so at the moment we don't have members. Yeah. Um, but I mean the network is probably networked across a couple thousand people at this point. That's great. Um, and I would say you know maybe in the future at some point we'll, we'll set it up where there's specific members, and you know you have um, more that you can do directly on the site. But for right now, um, again, our, you know our goal is to promote. You know, a couple events a year, and also just be there for um, the interests and activities of you know our network. Um, you know, Erica is on the board of the Autism Project. They're having a walk coming up uh, this weekend, so you know it's something that we trying to push and support yeah, good causes in Rhode Island. And um, are you seeing some energy grow across Rhode Island on just sort of? You know, you're seeing some improvement in the economy in the past couple of years. Are you seeing more growth and interaction and more confidence amongst people uh, in the community? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, and it's it's great when you meet those new people through the group, and they're like, "Man, I've been looking for something like this." And it, you, you know, having lived in Rhode Island my whole life, you know, despite my like short departure, but 
you know this, is yeah. that after you think you know everybody in the state, and w when you come across a new network of people and you're like, wow, these are really smart, really cool people that I don't know. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> and, you know, there's, well, there's that's, been the, that's, been, that's been the great part of Go Local Live. You know, we've been doing it for just a little over a year. I think we've had 1,400 guests, and it's just remarkable the people that have come on. And you're like, where have you been? Because I thought I knew everybody. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the stories that come out of it and the initiatives and the energy, especially in the nonprofit community and people trying to support it. Um, on another note, you're a financial service pro at Janney, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, <coughs> just give us any advice on uh, watching the stock market on a day-to-day -day basis. Is it uh, just put your head down and... Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, you know, obviously you are one of the guys that we, we spoke quite a long time ago about how uh, Warren Buffett, you know, is you know, the, the, the greatest investor of all time, and, you know, he says buy something that you want to hold 10 years from now. Yeah, right. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you don't sell it if, if some bad things are happening and, and you don't like what's going on, but you, know, you, you approach stuff with, with that in, in mind. And so the, the volatility that we've had this year, basically since January, is a lot more normal. Yeah. And the lack of volatility that we had last year was <laughs> not normal, but... Well, last year was just straight up, un yeah. almost unprecedented <laughs> straight up. It was hard to argue with straight up. Yeah. Um, so listen, um, g last, last thing relative to the, the effort to bring millennials together. How can folks who hear this, see this, read this tomorrow, um, how can they best get involved with you guys? Yeah, so I mean, either through our website, uh, we're on LinkedIn and, and Facebook as well. Um, you know, reach out if you recognize anybody uh, in particular. It, that's the easiest way. But uh, if you just go to um, send us a message to the website, then someone will get back to you right away. And yeah, I mean, we're we're looking to really bridge that gap between the senior business leaders, the senior politicians of Rhode Island, with you know the, the college students that are out there looking for internships and we want to be that metal ground you know just that's right pulling pulling everybody along the way and we'll have all the links in tomorrow so people can find you guys easily i want to thank you for coming on thank and you keep us me. up to date and anytime you're doing one of the events come back over uh and let us help get the message out um stay right here we're going to be right back i think the money man uh gary sass is in the house and we'll be talking about state budget federal issues you name it when it comes to Rhode Island politics and money. Uh, we'll be right back.